Hello everyone, recently I received some feedback from friends saying that they couldn't find the function of using Google's most powerful artificial intelligence, Gemini, as a translation engine, which I shared with everyone before, and they were quite distressed. Because once you start using the artificial intelligence, Gemini, for bilingual translation and feel its power, you really cannot go back. The biggest advantage of artificial intelligence translation is its ability to understand the meaning of sentences and the context, which is really not on the same level as ordinary machine translation. Furthermore, some friends also mentioned that because they use Gemini for translation too much within a certain period of time, their Google Gemini API key was banned. After my efforts, I finally found another perfect solution for using artificial intelligence Gemini for bilingual translation and for reading foreign language materials perfectly. Today, I will share with everyone how to use it alternative solution, which can also successfully solve the problem of being banned due to the excessive usage of the Gemini API key. Ok, let's go take a look on my computer. Let's go. Ok, now welcome to my PC. Now I'm using the Chrome to surfing on the internet. And you can see some foreign language web pages like uh, English and uh, here yeah, like Chinese. So when you are using the tra machine translation, the quality is low. But now we have the uh, strongest artificial intelligence like Gemini. So we can use Gemini as our translation assistant. It's really cool because Gemini is artificial intel intelligence. It can understand the meaning of the passage and the sentence and the, the characters. So that's why we I suggest we using Gemini as the translation assistant. For example, like, let's uh, use it, and this uh, totally free. I mean, those, these two are totally free. So I select this, this passage, and uh, you will see that here, that uh, there's an icon here. I click this icon, which means Open AI, Gemini Translation Assistant. It can help you to translate this uh, uh, original language into the uh, another language. You can see here, it supports like, uh, this is a source language, English, support English, and uh, the Francis, Deutsch, Espanol, Italiano, and uh, the Netherlands. So it uh, supports like uh, 100, I think uh, nearly 100 of uh, the uh, language translations. This is source language. This is uh, uh, the, the uh, target language, which means the language you want to see. For me, I see the uh, simplified Chinese here. It can change from English to these uh, different languages. For example, if I want to see like uh, the Korean here, yeah, Korean, it will translate this uh, English into Korean. Uh, it's really cool and uh, the quality is very high. So, because it is using the um, Gemini as a translation assistant, let's take click this, uh, this button here, this gear, and click this gear, and you will see that I'm using the Gemini here. It's, uh, it, this this uh, tool is totally free and it supports an open source. I will show you later how to install this uh, plugin into Chrome. Here you can see I'm using the Gemini as my default uh, translation uh, assistant here. And this is the API key. And I will show you later how to get the Gemini API key um, uh, totally free. Yeah, free of charge. Yeah, the Gemini API key. And uh, the model is Gemini Pro. So that's all for this uh, translation assistant. It's really really cool. And uh, you can also like here uh, translate from here. The foreign language is like uh, Chinese and it automatically detects the source language and translate this source language into like uh, here into English. The source language is Chinese and you will see the bilingual here translate into the English or translate it into the other language like uh, Japanese also support from Chinese to Japanese. Or it's really, yeah, it's really cool. So, well, how to install this uh, translation uh, assistant here? Can this is a plugin I installed from the uh, Chrome Web Store here? This is the Chrome Web Store, and uh, we can go to the search for Open AI Trans. Later, here you can see OpenAI Translator. Go to the web page here, the first one, OpenAI Translator, this icon, and uh, click it. And you can easily install this uh, OpenAI Translator tool because I'm already installed, so I can delete it, remove, and I can install it again. Install it, and add the extension, add it. Then after you add finished, it, there will be a, a status bar here. 
you can see yeah and it, we already uh, installed OpenAI translation and uh, you can ping to the taskbar here click and you can click this button to ping this OpenAI translator on your um, toolbar yes okay now I already pinged this uh, OpenAI translator this uh, task this on the toolbar yeah I click it it's okay then next step we needed to set this uh, then we set the uh, Gemini API key here they like click this open there will change it to from open there to the uh, Gemini here here is one Gemini and uh, we will get the API key next step we need to get the API key of the uh, Gemini Pro here click select the Gemini Gemini Pro here and uh, next step I will show you how to get the OPA open AI API key okay the next step is uh, it also support the desktop uh, software here you can see uh, open I installed the open air translator on my desk, desktop you can see here it also supports the same uh, uh, interface you can see here and you can uh, like uh, paste the copy the sentence here you can copy uh, copy and uh, paste into this uh, desktop application here and click enter it will help you to translate this uh, English into the Chinese or from Chinese to English or to other languages it supports different languages here a lot of languages to change and then you if you want to versus you can exchange click this exchange button click it so it will exchange this uh, uh, English to Chinese and Chinese to English or English to French or French to English yes it's very easy to do that okay also the same thing is uh, we click this gear and uh, to set uh, the Gemini as the uh, engine of the OpenAI then how to install this OpenAI translator we can go back to the official website here this is its official website here I will show you I will put this uh, web link down below this video description for you to uh, download this uh, OpenAI translator applications okay then uh, we will go to here the latest click this latest after you open this website open the I uh, translate website and then you need to download the applications like if you are using the uh, Apple's um, Apple's computer then you need to download like this DMG I think DMG if you, you are using the uh, Windows 10 or Windows 11 you need to download this X 64 and set up dot exe this file uh, click it and you can download it and because I already downloaded this uh, open air translator this uh, x64 bit setup then uh, download it and double click then you can easily set up and uh, to install it and next 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 because I already installed so you will, I will see these uh, options but for you you will not see these options you can click next 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 always next okay click OK then you can install the open and translate it's very easy and you click next and finish so next so it will open the open AI translator okay uh, on your desktop here okay so next step I will show you how to get the API key of the uh, uh, Gemini um, API key okay I will go to this web link ai.google.dev I will put this web link down below this video description for you for you to click to uh, open this uh, to apply for an API key okay after you open this web link and here you can see this blue button get API key in Google AI studio so then click it and you are you need to use your Google account to log in to this uh, website we will log in to this get API key in Google AI studio I will click it to log in with my uh, Google account yes okay you can see I already lo log in with my Google account and this is the first time logging you will see this legal notice you use a Google AI studio and the generative language APIs so you need to click this one to I consent to the generative AI uh, API additional terms and services Google API terms of services and I click continue then we will need to continue okay so then we go then we go to create get an API key click this button get an API key so you can see here create API key click click it then uh, create API key click directly in a new project here see, because this is the first time I using this uh, um, API key using this get API key functions using this AI studio okay just be patient after generative okay so you can see I finished the generated the API key then I click okay then I copied copied this uh, API key then I will go back to here click this button here 
open it AI translator click it and I need to paste this API key here paste it and uh, I will need to change it to the Gemini yeah change it to a Gemini and uh, paste this uh, API key for the Gemini and go down and select model um, Gemini Pro click it okay everything job done then we click save save it and go back let's have a test let's click hello to see if it works or not hello then it will translate the uh, target language yeah it's cool it translated into the target language simplified Chinese okay then we can close it you can create another new key okay I, I will refresh this uh, web page and uh, this is uh, already um, yeah this is already creating a new case if you already create it you can create multiple API keys for example I like can create another API key click it and the second time you create this API key you need to select a project here the drop down list click it generative language client click it and create API key in the existing project click it so you can create another second uh, API key okay this is a second API key then you click copy and we can go back to our desktop and click this button so this is my disk applications here desktop applications we can also set the API key here click this gear and uh, go back to select the Gemini and copy and paste paste our new API key here and here select the Gemini Pro okay then click save and go back and click hi let's have a have a try hi and to see if it works or not yeah perfect it works so everything job done so now we can use the uh, api i mean we use a gemini as our language translation assistant using ai it can give you the perfect translation quality here because the first time we install this uh, api we needed to close and reopen the chrome to make it make it um, make effect of the all we can have a try if we can refresh we see it works yeah after re refresh you will see that the button is here click it and it can translate into the uh, target language and it, if you want to know how to use this word double click this word it will give you the meaning and how to use it yeah it, it give you very clearly um, explanation on how to use it yeah it's cool right and uh, let's go back to the English uh, Chinese we can go here and uh, re just uh, refresh it because I newly re uh, installed this uh, uh, open air translator so I click it and uh, click it and you will see here that we're translating into English and uh, if you're not clearly about this character you just uh, select these two character and uh, it will give you the meaning of this uh, Chinese and how to use it and give you some sentence yeah give you some sentence example how to use it you can see sentence example the character the words example here for you to learn the foreign language to read the materials of the foreign language to get some in useful information uh, in, of the foreign uh, writing in the foreign language for your research then you can uh, understand all the languages around the world I think this uh, using AI as a translation assistant is perfect solution okay if you like my sharing don't forget to sum up and see you next time bye bye